12 mysterious underwater creatures caught on tape by our old friend Chills, the best voice of top 10s on YouTube. Maybe he'll have some good information. National Ocean Service estimates <laughs> that we have only managed to explore 5% of the ocean. God damn it. With this statistic in mind, it isn't hard to believe some of the creatures <laughs> on this list really could exist. I can't take him seriously. <laughs> His fucking voice. Okay, 5% of the ocean isn't even remotely accurate. I don't think I have to do that again. Just watch the fucking Megalodon video if you want an explanation on that one. But that's not true. After all, who knows what is lurking amongst the undiscovered 95%. Number a rock. 12. A school of fish briefly swims in front of the camera, and suddenly one of the fish gets nailed by a spear in front of the camera. Something fast swims by to collect the fish shortly after. What? Many people believe that this video demonstrates the possibility of some kind of advanced sea creature who uses tools to hunt. After all, there's no reason for a person to- I thought we were gonna talk about like the Loch Ness Monster, not sea aliens. Okay, give me a second. I- <laughs> I gotta get into a different mode. I thought- I thought it was just gonna be like, you know, Megalodon, Loch Ness Monster, Crabzilla, Kraken, uh, you know, all that dumb shit. I was not ready for sea aliens, highly advanced intelligent sea aliens. Okay, I'm ready. I can, yep, we're good. And whatever moves in front of the camera is too fast to be a person. Of course, the obvious answer is CGI, but I would love to get your thoughts. Number 11. No, you wouldn't. This video, taken over 3,700 feet underwater, began to like a we've mysterious this. symbol gliding across the bottom of the ocean. Is this a jellyfish or something? Yeah, comb jelly. I feel like I've seen this exact before with a, dis with a proper description. It's just a comb jelly or some kind of jellyfish. Okay, floor. cool. It's some sort of shape-shifting blob with shimmering lights on its head, and apparently it's coming in for a closer look. Nope, Whatever just a jellyfish. Is, it just seems to come be jelly. curious as it studies the camera for a bit. It's lights blinking it away. It doesn't study the camera. It has absolutely no control where the fuck it is going. Remember the Cody Ko video where he said hammerheads were like, ah, as they're just swimming and can't see anything? No, that's jellyfish. He's just going, ah. He has no idea what's going on. <laughs> He's not inspecting the camera. He's just vibing. Someone in the comments section says that this is a tenophore, though others insist that it's clearly the wrong color along with other discrepancies. Number 10. Nope, it's a tenophore. A YouTuber named Connell Malarkey is boating in Northern Ireland when a creature partially emerges from the water and easily keeps pace. A YouTuber. Interesting. It's so shaky and low quality, I just can't tell anything. Connell and his friends watch in amusement as the fast-moving creature passes them and then fully submerges back into the water without a trace. I could be wrong, Well, it looks like this could be the top of the creature's head, in which case I can't even imagine how large the rest of the monster <laughs> must have been. My entire chat is just, whale. Okay. Then again, it could have just been the shell of an exceptionally large turtle. No, it couldn't have. <laughs> Why do they do this? If you don't know what you're talking about, don't suggest... Don't suggest solutions, because then you just make everyone look stupid. He's like, could have been a large turtle, and everyone's like, no, it clearly isn't, it clearly is not a large turtle. And now everyone's like, oh, well, we've disproved it, it must be a fucking megalodon. Number 9. One summer morning in 2016, Florida residents woke up to find a toxic sludge had invaded their clear blue coastal waters. Mmm, yummy but toxic algae. Green algae was bad enough How is caused the governor to declare a state of- Mysterious underwater creatures caught on tape. And it's algae. I gotta know where this is going. <laughs> Emergency across four counties. Inside, you can see some of those green globules floating around. And this algae is dangerous to people. That's why many of the beaches around here will be closed for the busy 4th of July weekend. The foul. It's just toxic algae. 
I mean, the reservoir near me closed down because it had toxic algae, so people couldn't swim in it, in like the swimming section of it, and they couldn't use the water from it for a bit until they cleaned it up. It happens. Could cause skin and stomach irritation on contact. It also burned eyes, gave headaches, and other forms of sickness just from inhaling its putrid fume. It's not a creature. It's not underwater, and it's not even remotely mysterious. So the only thing that this has to do with the title is I guess it's technically caught on tape. Though everything from climate change to fertilizer runoff has been blamed. It's 100% fertilizer runoff. Fully resolved, and toxic algae blooms continue to runoff and eutrophication. In places throughout Boom, the state solved. of Florida. This bizarre sea creature was discovered in March of 2018 in Florida near St. Simmons What's with the blur? Island. This discovery occurred in March of 2018. The most recent article I could find said that scientists still have not been able to con Just looks absurdly fake. ...conclude if this was a hoax or not, which makes me even more interested. Number 7. The Ninjin is supposed to be a large aquatic humanoid that was originally discovered by Japanese whale researchers in the Arctic. It's just, just the long fin squid. Allegedly taken from the Japanese Agency for Marine Earth or Science whatever and it's Technology, called. the slow-moving camera creeps past what appears to be a rounded humanoid creature with two large white eyes. Look closely and you can see a playful smile across the sea creature's face. I think it's a rock, man. A knowing look. Everything from a whale to a rock has been proposed. It doesn't even slightly move. It just looks like a rock. These mysterious worm-like creatures were allegedly discovered by some dock workers in Germany. According to this video's description, the bizarre creatures were immediately taken to a nearby institution of ocean research but never properly identified. Let me know if you think this is the creature's mouth here. If so, it looks big enough to swallow an arm. This video is taken some looks like in intestines. 11, but I couldn't find any follow-up information. If you know anything else about this video, then please I mean, the, let me know. It might be a worm, but the way that it's connected with this tissue makes me think of intestines. Number 5. Check out what a YouTuber named Aqua Chigger found growing on the bottom of a river in Williamsport, Maryland. It's a riverbed full of green gelatinous plant life that strange. These are just plants. There's clearly a saturation filter to make it look more green, but it's just fucking plants with algae. Nothing about this is mysterious. Of a brightly colored underwater alien colony. Shut well, the I'm not fuck so up. sure about that. I certainly do think this is a strange find. Let me know if you have seen anything like it before. And if so... Hey! Hey! Hi! Hey! Hi! Chills! Right! Chills, right? I can call you that. I'm Zach. I have seen something like that before. It's actually just basic fucking plant life on a riverbed. So, um, hope that helps. Number four. Two fishermen from New York are on Lake Champlain when they notice a large object is causing a disturbance in the water behind them. Soon, a large creature comes close to the surface but never emerges. The lake gets around 20 sightings per year. And this Man, there's fucking 10 pixels on the entire screen. How is every video of this stupid ass supposed sea monster such low quality? Is this the kind of shit that that guy studied who became a Loch Ness monster expert? It was even verified by two former <coughs> FBI agents. What? Still, with that said, there just isn't enough video evidence to fully convince me, so I'll let you draw a conclusion for uh, yourself. What? What is? What is this? I. Uh, it's, it's so blurry. I think it's alive. I don't know what it is. It does look like from the top of it, like it's breathing or something. Yeah, it just looks like algae to me. This is the reaction of a YouTuber. Could be a jellyfish. this wall after he and a friend encounter this strange round mass in the water. A person in the video's comments section claims to recognize the location and says it's near a local nuclear power plant. Oh, shut up. To find any more information about this. So I'd like to know if there is a power plant nearby and if this- It just looks like algae, man.
Yeah, imagine looking at this and being like, I recognize the location. Oh yeah, this water, these rocks, these two pixel rocks, oh yeah. Let me give you the coordinates real quick. Number two. This alien-like creature perplexed everyone when the footage was released to Hello. the public sometime in 2008. Shell Company says they caught it on video hanging around one of their oil platforms. Pretty well-identified squid. It was eventually identified as a long-legged sea creature called the Magna Pinna Squid. But even to this day, many videos still insist that this is evidence of alien life. As such, How? I just wanted to include this. How is this evidence of alien life when we literally have it identified? We have it DNA sequenced so we know its exact evolutionary history. How could it possibly be an alien? Before we get to number one, my name is Chills and I hope you're enjoying my narration. I'm not. If you're curious about what I look like in real life, then go to my Instagram nope. at Dylan is chillin YT and tap that follow button to five ghost Fuck and off. Find out tours who spend over. Oh my god. That's where I post videos. So if you're generous, Shut up. you'll be notified what is the number of one? was supposedly taken from a submarine lurking somewhere in the Greenland Sea. The crew is so fascinated with a school of fish overhead that they fail to see a much rarer creature directly behind them. Dude, it's so low quality. Why is the music so dramatic? A large webbed hand that is roughly five times larger than any human- This is from a movie? Okay, great. <laughs> Glad we got a low resolution video from a movie. Bins, slaps the glass before pushing <clears throat> away. It's almost as if the humanoid creature was toying with the submarine crew and wanted to make its presence known. Great. Mermaid mockumentary. Perfect. Whoa!